in the last video that I did, I showed you what relocation property is. Now I'm going to show you why prime factors are so important and how it can be used with the relocation property. Let's have a look at the very first question. 7 divided by 33 divided by 34 times 55 times 51 divided by 14 times 8. It looks like you have to use a calculator somehow, but you don't. Let's, let's see how you do it. First of all, if you circle all the numbers that have a divided by sign that sticks to it. So that divided by sign here goes with this 34, this divided by sign goes with the 14. Now, Basically, these are the numbers then that we have to get rid of or divide out. When you start with, let's start by seeing if we can get rid of this. Well, I'm going to see if I can get rid of this 14 first. And the reason why I'm saying 14 is because if you actually peel apart the 14 into its two prime factors, you have 7 times 2. So you need to find a number in here that's a multiplied by number that has a, a something, a number that will divide into a 7 or is divisible by 7 and there is happens to be a 7 here. So if we took that 7 and multiply it by a number that is divisible by 2, ah, this one is divisible by 2, then you know that 14 will divide into it without a question. So you take the 7, you multiply it by the 8, and then you divide it by 14. Now remember, 14 is 7 times 2, so this is the 7 that was divided by would actually um, divide out the 7 and the uh, 2 from here would divide out one of the 2's here and what you're left, out, left over with when you divide out the 2 is 4. Because when you take out, so at this point you have 4. Notice I didn't have to say 7 times 8 is 56 divided by 14 is 4 sort of peeling apart numbers. Okay, so you've, we've taken care of that. And now you, let's try and get rid of another number. Well, we already have a four here. Notice the other two numbers that we're dealing with. One is divisible by two, and four is divisible by two. So that one's probably the next one you want to take care of. And 34 is divisible by two, and is 17. Two times 17. And 51 is divisible by 17. It's three times 17. So you're thinking instead of just 51, you're now thinking of the 51 as a 3 times 17. So let's multiply by 51 and divide that by 34. You know 34 will go into this combination because 34 has a 17 that will come out of the 51. That leaves you with a 3. Remember that 3. And it, and it also has a 2 in it. 34 has a 2 in it, so it takes out the 4 from there, so you have a 3, or it takes out a 2 from the 4, so you have 3 times 2, which is 6 at this point. So now you've got rid of the 34, you've, you've used up the 51, and all you have left is a 33, so you could multi whoops, multiply that, yes, by 55, divided by 33. You know that 33 will go into this combination because this consists of 3 times 11, the 11's in the 55, divide out the 11 from the 55, you're left with 5, and you divide out the 3 from the 6, and you're left with 2, so 5 times 2 is 10. How'd you do?